This video is a quick tutorial on how to remove, clean, and install new linear bearings. We're going to do just this one bearing as an example. They are a little bit different than the bearings on the Bulldogs, but they are extremely similar and the concept will be the same. So the first thing to note is that the Allen wrench you're going to need to use is metric. All of the bearings come from Germany and are metric. So make sure that you have, don't try to use a regular Allen wrench, grab a metric one, and remove the four bolts that hold each bearing in. Each bearing, each linear bearing is held in by four metric bolts. And just do one bearing at a time. Don't remove all the bearings. It's much easier to just take four bolts out, slide the old bearing out, and slide the new one in. If you take them all out, the whole machine will start to come apart, which you don't want. Okay. So now that I've loosened those bolts, taken them out, without much persuading, I should be able to slide the bearing out from behind the plate. You may have to push the plate back just a little bit. It's tricky to do holding the camera <laughs> at the same time. Okay, so you slide it out. Now you'll notice on our rails here, we have a little bit of rust. Now, Rust on this part of the rail This part here Isn't too important the uh, bearing doesn't actually ride on there The bearing rides on four little grooves one right there One on just the other side there and then same thing on the bottom those four. So we want to make sure they are nice and clean before we put our new bearings on. I recommend some fine steel wool and some engine oil or olive oil, any kind of oil. Uh, preferably not WD-40 unless you're going to wipe it all down because the WD-40 will take the grease along with it um, from the new bearings. So. Um, Try and use oil. If you use WD-40, make sure you wipe it nice and clean after you're done. So, grab some steel wool. And again, what you want to focus on is not so much the, uh, the rust on the front, or even on the whole sides. Really, you want it right on those spots where, where the bearing rides. And with the steel wool, I wouldn't be too concerned about uh, damaging the rail. The rail is hardened steel. Um, you don't want to use anything abrasive though. The four things that will kill our bearings the fastest are grit, too much grease, too little grease, and rust. So get the bearing, get the rails as clean as we can with your steel wool. Um, Then wipe, wipe them nice and clean. It's okay if they have that oily feel. In fact, that's important. The grease should leave a, a nice oily feel. You want to wipe all that contamination off. Otherwise, that gets in your bearings. Wipe your rails as clean as you can. It'll make your bearings last the longest they can. All right, and this is the important and critical part. Um, well, taking it off is not too important, um, but 
you want to do your best not to lose all the little ball bearings that are inside it. They don't come flying out unless you take the bearing off uh, not straight. If you try to wiggle or jam it as you take it off, and then you'll have little ball bearings all over the floor in the freezer. Okay. You can see the bearing has little rubber seals around the rail to push the snow and debris um, down as we move it. What we want to do is pull the bearing off as straight as we can. Nice and gentle right off the end of the rail. We don't want to push down on it, or push up or forward or back. We want to try and get it going the same direction as if the rail just kept on going. Nice and gentle off the end there. Be very careful right as you get to the very, very end because it's pretty easy to push it. Now, inside the bearing there, you'll see the four rows. One, two, you can see there. Three, four. And those are like little tank tracks. There are lots of individual bearings, but they loop around. Uh, so as they roll, you get a new set of bearings recirculating, recirculating bearings. If there's too much grease pumped into here, then these little bearings um, have a hard time going around. Each bearing will roll on the rail, but because you can't get a new set of bearings going as they move, um, you jam up the bearings and they very quickly grind away at the bearings in the rail and um, that damages things very quickly. So we just want a thin coating of grease. Yeah, we'll cover that in a moment, how to uh, add the grease when we put it back on. They come pre-greased and we do not want too much grease. It's a very bad thing. Okay. So we got it off without losing any bearings. This is actually a new bearing. Um, so I'm going to put it back on. The bearings that you get when they're brand new come with a green plastic insert. We'll pretend it's like this sitting inside so that none of the little ball bearings come flying out while they're shipping. Now, don't just pull that out. We're going to use that. So with your, your green plastic in there, you're going to want to the green plastic is like it's the same shape basically as our rail here so we're going to stick it up against the rail and use it to slide the bearing so that the little bearings inside have the little ball bearings have no chance to uh, ever escape they're either on the green plastic rail or on the metal rail um, and i'll try and do this while holding the phone and um, putting this on. Okay, so you have your new bearing here. I'll pretend this is our green plastic rail. You want to bring it right up against the other one and then slowly start to push it off the green plastic and on to the metal rail. You shouldn't have to push hard at all. If you do, you're going to find that you're going to make some of your bearings pop out. And you'll have little bearings on the floor and it's not the end of your bearing, but uh, it's definitely not the best. All right, so I've gotten this on a little bit. I would still have my green piece sticking out here and then I slowly and gently slide the bearing onto the metal rail. And if I am slow and gentle, and I'll even show you in here, you get onto the rail and none of the little bearings have been popped out. The only time they'll want to pop out is if you're pushing hard or putting some pressure sideways on this and they try to catch on that very little edge there because you're pushing down or up. If you're just pushing it on gradually and gently and using the, the green provided, uh, the green rail, plastic rail, 
you won't have any problems at all. It, it, it's not difficult. They don't want to come flying out. Um, they're all held in there, snapped in by the plastic. So as you're not being crazy and pushing hard, you'll do just fine. And now that now you have your new bearing on uh, and your rail is clean, you just slide it back into position. A little tricky here with one hand. Slide it back so the holes line up. And do your bolts back up. Now just to finish off the video, I will quickly talk about greasing. Okay, again, too little grease and too much grease are both killers of bearings, as well as uh, grit and rust on the rail. So keep your rails as clean as you can, and keep your bearings properly greased. Uh, you do not want to see grease oozing out of the seal. You're like, oh, I got lots of grease because I pumped it in there. That's bad. <laughs> Um, what you want is when the bearing moves like that, and you wipe your finger like this, you should feel a film of grease. You can feel the difference between dry metal and metal that has a film, an oily film, a greasy film. That's all we want is just that slight film of grease riding on the rail. If you don't have that, you have too little grease. If you see grease coming out, you got too much grease. The other key to greasing is we grab our grease gun and here's the grease nipple. Uh, we hook the grease gun up and then either with a, uh, a helper or assistant or if you know what you're doing on the computer, you want to have the machine move along at a very slow jog. Um, how slow doesn't really matter as long as it's moving. And the idea of that is as long as our machine is moving while we're pumping the grease in, the recirculating balls inside the bearing are moving and that way they all get covered and they don't get stuck with grease as we pump it in so it's very important that the bearing move as we add little pumps of grease and again we don't have to add much we don't want to see it coming out um, you can see when you took the bearing off that it's not a large bearing uh, there's not room for tons of grease in there so every once in a while, you want to just squirt a little extra grease in there as you move the bearings along. So keep make sure you're jogging for this one. For example, you'd be jogging the y-axis while you're squirting grease into the bearings. And there are a total of 10 bearings on each bulldog. So and each one has its own grease nipple. So you want to make sure that you grease each of them. And again, do that check where you slide the bearing away or jog it away. Wipe the rail with a paper towel or a rag, jog it back, jog it away again, and check to see if you have a nice film of grease. That one's perfect. I'm happy with that. And that's all there is, too, to uh, maintaining and replacing your bearings. If you have any questions, please feel free to email support at dashx.net. Thank you.